Hello, my name is Peter. I'm from 123 Sheets, and I'm going to show you how to file VAT returns from our software for accountants. So, we're on the Making Tax Digital page for accountants. We're going to go to the VAT demo, and we'll select a client, and we'll wait for HMRC to give us information about this client so we can see. VAT liability information about this particular client. We can see that the uh, return that was due on the 7th of December had an amount due here of over 400,000 and none of it's outstanding because it's been paid. We can see that the payment in fact is down there and it was paid on the 12th of December. And we can see this, uh, in fact, actually this older return still hasn't been paid. Uh, all this information comes from HMRC. We can go to the Returns History page and where we can go and view a previous return. We can download that as a PDF or we can print that out. <coughs> Let's go and have a look at filing a VAT return. So we click on File a Return. And we have <coughs> pardon me, some various options here about the way in which our spreadsheet came into existence. It might be because we were using Sage Desktop or QuickBooks Desktop and we just want to import an exported VAT return from either of those two pieces of software. Um, it might be that we have our VAT return in a spreadsheet already that we have uh, designed ourselves or obtained from somewhere else, in which case you'd opt for the default spreadsheet options so let's do that and let's go and have a look at a spreadsheet now then so for this option you will need to obtain from us which you can download from our website our filing template it's got the nine boxes here for the VAT return and I have an example uh, fictitious sales and purchases information here and in this example I've decided to insert the uh, 123 Sheets filing template into the bookkeeping spreadsheet. You can keep them as two separate spreadsheets as long as the numbers are being transposed across <coughs> with, with a uh, VAT digital link as per HMRC specification then that's all you need to do and all you need to do for that is just literally press an equal sign and go and select the relevant um, amount that you have elsewhere on a spreadsheet and hit enter. So let's do that now. So box one that's the uh, sales VAT, so we put an equal sign there, go to the sales, highlight the VAT on the sales, and then in this example, uh, we're not in the Northern Ireland, so we're not going to be filling in boxes two, eight, or nine. So next we go to the purchases VAT, put an equal sign, go and select the purchases VAT, and then the net sales, and then the purchases net. Oops. Let's get that one there. <laughs> okay, and then we can save that, and we can see that box five is telling us that two thousand and sixty-six pound forty is due. So that's what we'd be expecting to send off to HMRC. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to go back to the website. So that spreadsheet's now ready with the template filing. So I can either drag and drop that spreadsheet here or I can go and choose the spreadsheet I've saved it on my desktop let me go and get that uh, this one upload that and yep there's the two thousand and sixty six pounds forty for the VAT due to HMRC so I'm happy that's correct so I'll tick the confirmation box and file the VAT return and that's how you file a VAT return if you already have a spreadsheet with the VAT amounts in it ready to go. If uh, alternatively uh, you may might have used our bookkeeping spreadsheet that at the moment we have one for sole traders and for landlords so let's do a sole trader um, VAT filing from the 123 Sheets bookkeeping. The 123 Sheets bookkeeping file uh, produces PDF files to send data to HMRC so we're going to select that option there and let's go to the self-employed spreadsheet that we've got here. So you go to the settings page first, uh, select the settings that you needed to before you started entering the bookkeeping. 
and then you'd enter in some sales we've got various sales in here and then we've got some purchases here quite a lot of stuff in there and then we've got some other entries for capital allowances CIS tax deducted and some other bits and pieces so let's go to file of at return so we'll click on the VAT file um, first of all I might want to have a look at what's included in my VAT return before I file it to get a detailed report so let's click on that and we'll save that in that bookkeeping folder and the PDF will just come up in just a moment here it is and okay so yep this looks okay and then you might think okay mm, what's that 930 pounds in box 8 let's go and find out what that is we can go down to box 8 to find out what that 930 is made up of there's my 930 oh yeah that's right I remember um, it was those sales that we made from uh, Northern Ireland uh, to uh, yeah, yeah, EU member states so that will make sense uh, you can also so you can go through and check make sure you're happy with what's in here uh, you can also check down the bottom where it lists transactions that have been excluded from a VAT return. So yeah, I can see that on the sales uh, work uh, worksheet that none of the nothing's been missed off the VAT return. But on the purchases, I can see there's been a couple of entries that have been missed off the VAT return. Van depreciation for January. Okay, I'd expect that. I wouldn't expect that, uh, depreciation to appear on a VAT return. So that makes perfect sense. Also, CIS. Um, and some income tax has been deducted by an agent. Uh, I wouldn't expect that to show on a VAT return either, so that all makes sense. Uh, but that's missing. Okay, so I've checked through and reviewed my data now on that VAT return. So I now need to produce the, go back to the spreadsheet, produce the HMRC filing PDF. Am I sure? This will lock the transactions up to the 30th of June yes um, I uh, need to do that in order to file the return and that will make sure that I can't go back in later into the spreadsheet and accidentally change some transactions in the spreadsheet that I've already sent to HMRC for a VAT return so I'll click on OK to lock those transactions that will produce my filing VAT return so save that somewhere and I'll just check to, yep, the box five, I'm expecting to file to HMRC £4,048. The filing PDF is just a single static page with just the nine box VAT return figures in it. Yep, 4048 So what I'll do now is I'll go back to the um, website, ready to upload this PDF. So you can either drag and drop the PDF there, or you can choose the file, which I'll do here, the filing VAT, upload that, and I can see, oh yes, there's my box 5, 4048, excellent, so I'll tick the confirmation box to say that's all correct, and I'll file the VAT return. And that's now gone off to HMRC, and then I should be able to see that VAT return now on the returns history, uh, where I can download, um, print out if need be, or send to the client. So I hope you've enjoyed that uh, little video and if you are interested in our software, we look forward to working with you. Thanks very much. Bye.